And we're back. Welcome back to Lake and Bronx Sports YouTube. Brett Hendricks along with you. Jared coming back in shortly. Now the second game of the night for us here on Lake and Bronx Sports YouTube, lakeandsports.com. Now it's the boys' turn. The Larks one and three under head coach Travis Leverett. And uh, Lake and Bronx under head coach Nate Schmidt in his 10th year. Sublette, one and three on the year, losing on Saturday to Spearville by the score of 62 to 61. They come in averaging 56 and a half points per game. They shoot 42% from the field. And that's about all I really have for them. Don't have any player stats, so we'll just go with it. The Bronx three and one on the season. Started the season three and zero, oh, but this the lone loss in the championship game Saturday at the Goodland topside tip off. So the Bronx looking to get back on the winning side of things here in the High Plains League opener for both teams. Bronx and the Larks meeting twice last year. Sublette winning over Lakin in the semifinals of the High Plains League tournament by the score of 68 to 56. And the Bronx returned the favor later after the tournament at Lakin by the score of 76 to 50. Bronx come in averaging 60 points per game. They shoot 45% from the field. They grab 31 rebounds per game and shooting just 50.8% from the free throw line. But they did see that total go up over the weekend. They entered the weekend shooting 47% from the free throw line. So a little bit of improvement there for the Bronx in that aspect. Both teams on the floor just about just under two minutes to go before we tip things off here at the Sublette High School Gymnasium. A lot of history in this gym, especially between these two teams. I can only speak for when I became a Bronx fan in the early 70s that uh, there was always the Bronx and the Larks for High Plains League supremacy. And throw in some other years, other schools were in the mix as well, but anytime Sublette and Lake and Met, strap it up and let's go. I know I had cousins that played here, so maybe didn't help the rivalry as far as I'm concerned, because uh, Sublette get the upper hand, I had to hear it from my cousins. But uh, always been a great, great, uh, rivalry here in the High Plains League. Before we introduce starting lineups, they will have the singing of the national anthem. And we'll then be set to go here from Sublette.
National Anthem by the Sublette High School Choir. A nice job. Here's the starting line as first for the Sublette Larks, one and three on the year under head coach Travis Leverett. I don't have uh, heights for these players. Wearing number 10, a sophomore, Joel Loya. Wearing number 13, a junior, Noah Friesen. Wearing number 14, a senior, Noah Froze. Drake Weber wears number 15, he's a sophomore. And wearing number 21, a junior, Corbin Deerking. Sublette one and three coming off a loss Saturday against Spearville by the score of 62 to 61. Now the starters for your Bronx. The Bronx three and one on the year under head coach Nate Schmidt. The assistant coach is Taylor Lovelady and Hunter Kirby. Wearing zero, a six foot junior averaging just over seven points per game, Adric Gomez Escabel. Wearing number four, a six two senior averaging just under eight points per game, MJ Gonzalez. Wearing number 21, a 5'8 junior, averaging just over five points per game, Drew Patterson. Wearing number 23, a six foot senior, averaging three points per game, Maddox Beltran. And wearing number 24, a 6'3 junior, averaging 17 and a half points per game, Coulter Oldham. The Bronx come in averaging 60 points per contest. They're shooting 45% from the field and hitting 50.8% of their free throw tries. The Bronx in their road purple uniforms once again tonight. The Lady Bronx and Bronx with new uniforms this year. The road ones got to wear out. They got uh, wore out over the weekend. Sublette in their home whites, scarlet letters and numbers trimmed in gray. Jones will be going from our right to our left in this opening quarter. And I know the background noise isn't as bad to those at home, but it's really ringing in the headset. Yeah. And we're set to go. Noah Friesen. And Coulter Oldham to tip things off here. Now it'll be MJ Gonzalez. And Noah Friesen. Colter Oldham named to the all-tournament team this past weekend at Goodland. Didn't uh, announce it earlier, but uh, Jared Davidson for the Lady Bronx, also on the all-tournament team at the Goodland topside tip-off. Tip owned by the Bronx, and we're underway here from Sublette. Oldham left with a one-on-one. -on -one. Looking to drive, turns, now steps in, layup no good, rebound comes off to Loya, and we've got a tie up right off the bat, and the arrow belongs to the Larks. Bronx with full court pressure, Noah throws up the near side, freezing in the paint over MJ, missed short, freezing. With the loose ball, and Sublette on the board. MJ in the paint, and he hits it with the hook shot. Whistle on the floor, ball knocked away. Actually, Lakin will get the basketball. Jakey in the backcourt. Up the floor, left wing to Maddox. Up top, Coulter. Bronx working around the arc. Into MJ. MJ backing in. Short off the front of the rim. Rebound loose. Noah throws in. Now stolen away by MJ Gonzalez. Now throws, takes it back. Shaky near steal out on the timeline. And it will stay with Sublette. 
Just over a minute in, we're tied at two. Thanks for joining us here on Lake and Bronx Sports YouTube. Brett and Jared with you. I don't know about that one. Yeah. It was close, but I think he got both feet established. Noah Froze called for the over and back, and yeah, I kind of thought he may have. It was close, but I thought he had his feet down as well. So it'll go back to the Bronx. Right wing to Patterson up top to Coulter. Shaky behind the back. Got Good it shot. from 12. And a foul called in the backcourt against the Bronx. MJ. MJ with the foul, that's his first. So it's bled inbounds on the near sideline. Throws with it, looking to shed Maddox Beltran. Now up the floor. Layup blocked by Coulter, but he fouled. I, I, I don't think Coulter got a hand on that. I think it was just short. Foul is on Coulter. A fingertip anyway. <laughs> oh, come on, give it to me. Nah. <laughs> Not going to give you that that easy. Oh, man. Free throw is good by Loya. Tell you what, one, of, one thing about it, and this place has always been that way, one of the loudest gyms that you go to. Yeah, it's not quite the echo. Shaky in the paint and knocked away from MJ. Kierking. Now stolen away by Drew Patterson, looking for help in the corner, and he'll be fouled by Drake Weber. Good hustle there by Drew Patterson to, to get the steal. Foul on Weber's his first. <laughs> the only gym that rivals this one would be the Lakin High School gym on throwback night. Yeah. Lakin with a fresh four on the floor. Tyler Holloway, Austin Ritzma. Eric Munson and Ross Ryder. Shaky stays on the floor. Oh. And stolen away by Sublette. Now Tyler Holloway gets it back for the Bronx. He'll hand it off to Shaky. Six minutes to go in the quarter. Into Ritzman. I didn't see that one. Ritzma slipping and going to the floor. So the foul on Ritzma is his first. Will go as a Bronx turnover. Noah throws with the basketball. Three from the right side over everything by Dierking. Ritzma with the rebound up the floor. Holloway tight ropes the baseline back out front. Ritzman thought about the three, and the Bronx will set it up. Over to Holloway. Now to Munson. Ross Ryder drives out to Holloway. Bronx working the weave. Ritzman backing in. Turnaround from 12, got it. I'll tell you what, Austin keeps adding shots to his arsenal. He's going to be oh, tough to stop. Yeah. Loose ball on the floor, a kick ball, and it's going to Lakin. Nice turnaround oh, from 12. Oh, he pointed Lakin, but it's going to stay with Sublette. Throws with the inbound, well, excuse me, throws with it. The inbound was by Friesen. Cross court, Dierking, and a three second violation. Yeah. 
Shakey in the paint. Got it to go and he's fouled. Adrick taking it to the rack. Basket is good. The foul will go, let's see, go against Noah Friesen. Shakey with the free throw, just two of six. 33% on this season. That got that one to go. Oh. And the Bronx with a five-point lead. Shaky with the foul. That's his first fourth team foul. Drive missed, but the putback good by Noah Friesen. There we go. And a foul underneath. You know, the thing when Austin got called for hooking, honestly, he hooked because he was falling down because yeah. watching that Friesen got the foul there, but when he's posting up, he's putting his lead foot and almost stepping on um, Ritzma's foot. Yeah. He's trying, I mean, I guess you try for any advantage. Shakey goes to the floor, shot block. Wow, what a save. Oh, man. Jakey sliding the floor. <laughs> that, was, that was impressive. Who says you have to be on your feet to make things happen? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> wow. Ritzma with it, turns, doesn't get the roll, but the putback, oh, it won't go, but he's fouled. Ritzma working hard. One thing I talked about with Coach Schmidt in our interview, and we talked about it at Goodland as well, how much more Austin is getting in the in the offense. He's more vocal, he's calling for the basketball, he wants the ball. The foul on Weber, the rest of them at the line to shoot two. I mean, after getting a couple dunks, I'd want the ball more too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Free throw, got it. But I tell you, I just, I'm looking at his shot. His shot is getting so much nicer. Oh throw. yeah, smooth. Yes. Patterson. MJ and Coulter back into the lineup. Austin with a second free throw attempt. That one too strong. Of course, I jinxed him. And another Lakin foul. That's gonna go on MJ. Two fouls on MJ. 15 foul on the Bronx. Noah froze at the line for two. Free throw missed by Froze. Rose with the second attempt off the back iron. Munson with the rebound. And Eric will bring it up the floor. Pass near side. Loya with the steal. And the layup. Good. Nice anticipation that time that Joel Loya. Bronx quick up the floor. A top to MJ. Three second violation, and it goes back to Sublette. Noah throws with it across the timeline. In the corner to Deerkin, cross court pass. Three from the corner, good by Noah throws, and Sublette with the lead. Munson with the three right side won't go. Corbin Durkin with the rebound. Coulter almost with the steal. And it'll stay with Sublette.
Trenton Davis into the lineup for the Larks. Throws, drives, the runner outside and a traveling violation. So Black back on top, 11 to 10. That was smart by Munson. That could have been yeah. a double dribble, and everybody wants it, but he's just smart by letting it hit the floor. Man, Coulter just stopped for some reason. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Ritzma dunked it off the steal. You knew that was coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and another foul by the Bronx. That's on MJ. Go to the other end for two free throws for Noah Froze. Free throw is good. Shaky back in the lineup for Lakin. In the lineup for Sublette, Caleb Friesen. Free throw no good, Ritzma with the rebound. We are tied at 12, Patterson near the sideline. Munson into Coulter, Coulter jump stop. That foul will go against Corbin Dierking, I believe. And it is. Colder to the line to shoot a pair. Both teams over the five foul limit, or at the five foul limit here in the first quarter. Colter shooting 53% from the free throw line, hits the first one. But Coulter gives the Bronx the lead at 13 to 12. And good defense by Coulter turned the Larks over on the near sideline. 2.08 to go in the first quarter. Bronx with the 13 12 lead. Brett and Jared with you. Right wing Ritzma. Looking to dribble. Now finds Patterson, three from the right side. Oh. He's fouled on the three-point attempt. And we'll get three free throws coming up. Fouled against Joel Loya. So three free throws coming up for Drew Patterson. Free throw is good on the first try. Two for two for Drew. Noah Froze back in the lineup. Ryan Ryder. And Maddox Beltran in for the Bronx. Drew with the third attempt. Got it. I'd be kind of annoyed with him talking when you're shooting free throws. Yeah, I would be too. Tyler Holloway into the lineup for the Bronx. Great Weber didn't didn't phase Drew, but. That foul's gonna go against Maddox. Three. 
Not that Lakin would ever do it, but Lakin's just going to have to pick him up at midcourt because you're picking up too many fouls 40 feet from the basket. They have not had a foul in the paint so far tonight. I understand their defense, but it's obvious they're not going to let them do it. Free throw good by Weber. Second one in and out. What a wait. Coulter's lining up for an out of bounds play. I thought he said he was over. And they're gonna say Shakey was over. So Weber with another free throw attempt. Free throw, no good. Nice. Nice steal. Coulter loses the handle, but Holloway right there. Maddox, left wing, lob into Coulter. Coulter looking to post up Maddox from the corner. Runner short. And Drake Weber with the rebound. <laughs> He didn't even touch him. Foul is on shaky. Bucket is good. Oh. I think that foul was on Casper. Corbin Dirking to shoot the end one. Free throw missed. I think there's a different ball game going on than we're watching, Jared. Yeah. <laughs> Underneath, Ryder back out front to Shakey. Shakey's going to drive, layup, got the spin. That could have very well been offense. Holloway got a hand in there. Ball is still loose. Noah froze with it. Shoots it over Shakey. Holloway crossover stops, cross court. Shaky on the wing. 26 seconds to go in the quarter. Lakin will hold for one. That floor looks a little slick. Shaky back out with it. Seems like everyone's just kind of sliding back and forth. And they're going to call Tyler Holloway with the travel. 7.6 seconds to go in the quarter. Because, man, we've had two or three guys slip just in the, in the paint. Yes. Weber, three, won't go. Holloway tips it out of there. Good job by Holloway. And that'll do it for our first quarter. Lakin with the 18 to 17 lead. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with the second quarter for you right here on Lake and Bronx Sports YouTube. We're back after this. A lot of action on the street today, huh, Willie? Yep. Oh, check out the German V8. Good car. Our feeder zane. Ooh, 64 Dream Car. At Shelter Insurance, we insure all your favorite rides. Oh, classic convertible. And have since 1946. Sweet pickup. Hiya, Muggsy. Yo. From Hot Wheels to hybrids, we've got you covered. Hey, mailman. Love those shoes. Hey, where you going? Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Eighteen to seventeen, the Bronx leading the Larks after one period of play. Brett and Jared with you, Lakin basketball to start our second period. Austin Ritzma into the lineup for the Bronx, along with Drew Patterson to start our second quarter.
Colter up top, right wing to Shakey, now to Patterson. Patterson will fire for three, short. Ball bouncing around, Ritzma battling for it. Colter <laughs> gets got the it. loose ball. Layup, oh. oh, won't go, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Mike caught a little bit to the head on that one. That foul will be against Drake Weber. That's his third. Colter at the line to shoot two. Got the first one to fall. And rolled in the second one. Colder with three points all from the stripe. That's a four. Three point Bronc lead. And that basket by Noah Friesen on the other end. Patterson from 10. Nice little stop and pop that time by Drew Patterson. Drew has five. That's a travel. Ooh. Oh my goodness, are you kidding? That's gonna go against Drew Patterson, but that's just good defense. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. That was a hop, that was a travel before anything happened there. There it Bravo. is. As you say, ball never lies. Yeah. <laughs> it's happened quite a bit tonight. Lakin gets it back. <laughs> Noah Garrison into the lineup for Sublette. Along with Ashton, Ashton Kane, Ashton Cohen. Coulter backs in, oh, layup good. You know, you can't call that when you're falling to begin with. Good hustle by yeah. Maddox. Bronx back up to a five point lead matching their biggest of the half. Yeah, you gotta be taking the contact. You can't just fall. Yeah. yeah that's that a block on you. Garrison with the inbounds long into the backcourt. Joel Loya chases it down. Up the left side. Spin move. Shot good over Maddox. Ashton Cohen with the basket. Really a nice move. Drew the drive. Oh, short Just on the short. attempt. Garrison with the rebound. And he'll bring it up near side. Pass left corner. Three. Is that a three? I don't, I didn't see him say. I think they're trying to ask too, because he didn't signal. He did not signal. I thought it was a two. I'm not sure. Three. It was a three. So we are tied at 24 apiece. Ross Ryder, Hall Tyler Holloway, and Eric Munson into the lineup for the Bronx. Travel. And a travel. So the Bronx get it right back. <clears throat> I was about to say earlier, uh, 14, watch his shot. He kicks out one of his legs, and I wonder if that might come back to bite him later. Uh, yeah, they see that on the NBA. Yeah. The NBA teaches great basketball lessons. Yeah. Shaky knocked that away to keep it alive. Yeah. 
Ritzma off the inbounds. Stops, lays it off the glass. Man, I was hoping for a poster. <laughs> Longs back out in front. Trenton Davis, backside pass. And one, baby. Austin Risma up the floor. And that foul will go against K Noah Garrison, his first. Risma with the end one attempt here. Got it. Thirty. Thirty-second timeout. Richmond now in double figures with ten. I think. You have him for ten. Yep. Okay. Okay, so what they just took a they just took a basket away. It was just yeah, it, the the basket should have counted. It should be twenty nine. So it should be 29 26 because right. we were tied up at 26 is with the and one. Yeah, we were tied up. Let's get it right. Yeah, I'll say because he only shot one free throw, so we have to have two points. Yeah, they were not ahead 26 24 with the and one made there. It was 26 all. It should be 29. It shouldn't be that hard. That's what we were and at. And they're arguing at the table like that. No, it shouldn't be. They didn't count the bucket. They didn't for the count one. No. Roll the film. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, come on up. We can show it to you. Yeah. To me, though, that's where I. You know, I've always said that a team should keep a book. Yeah, and we always do. And I keep a running total up here that it was 26 all at the 540, no. Well, we took the lead at 544, 26-24. Uh, they tied it back up on that backside yeah, cutter this, by Cohen. This should be easy. There we go. And there we go. <laughs> It shouldn't have taken that long. <laughs> wow. It was a pretty easy one. So let basketball. Trenton Davis up the near side. Crossover. Layup. Blocked Holloway. by Holloway. I think Holloway got a hand on. Oh. Ball stays with Sublette. Ross Ryder getting tied up on the rebound. That was a strong rebound. It'll stay with Sublette. Inbounds loose, but Kane with it. Good job defense right there by Chakey. Lob inside, front and Garrison. There, there is a we foul go. in the backcourt on Joe Loya. It's about time we start getting some of those bodies and reaches yep. on our going our way. I mean, that, that carrying the basketball near side against Shaky. I mean, what do you want a guy to do when you've got him bodied yeah. up? Shaky to Holloway up top. Now to Ritzma. Backing in, turns. Good shot. Oh, won't go. oh, he followed. Lost a handle on it.
That foul on Shake, he's gonna be his third. Gotta be smart. Gotta be smart. So that's three on Shakey, 447 to play in the half. <coughs> Trenton Davis with it. And stolen away by Oldham. Coulter, layup, got it. I'm telling you, it's gotta be slick, because he fell too. That sublet player fell, yeah. Yes. Great job there. What you have there? I was writing Eric, something down. Eric blocked the inbounds and right back the wet man touched it. Excellent. Colder from the wing, looking to drive. Munson, he'll drive from this corner. Off the glass, good. Munson, nice drive. He stepped back in off the baseline to get the angle. The Bronx with their biggest lead at seven. Holloway with a steal. It's a four on two. Munson, layup, got it. Nice. Garrettson with the drive. Missed the layup. Ball is loose. Sublette has it. Cohen off the glass, 4-2. Ashton Cohen off the bench with six. Munson on the wing, up top to Ryder. They work it around the arc. Coulter got the defender in the air. He'll hit it off the dribble over Garrettson. Coulter with nine. Ball up the floor. Garrettson won't get to it. And it'll go back to the Bronx with 3.25 to go. Noah Friesen back into the lineup for Sublette. We've got a timeout on the floor. Bronx with the nine point lead. A 30 second timeout. Foul situation, Bronx with three in the quarter, Sublette with two in the quarter. I think I'm missing two somewhere. Uh, two points? Yeah. I've got Adric with seven points. Adric for seven, I got him for six. Seven, eight, nine, 14, 23, 33, 30. I add up to 37. Two, and and one makes five, six, seven. He had him uh, in the first quarter. I didn't have him making a free throw, I guess. Yeah, he had an and one at uh, in the first quarter. Uh, MJ with two, Drew with five, yep. Holder with nine. Yep. Austin, 10. Yep. Munson with four. Okay, maybe that's all it was. Okay. Lake and basketball. <coughs> Ooh, bless you. I couldn't get to the button <laughs> fast enough. Rhythm of the drive down the paint. Rhythm of a 12 off the bench. And Joel Loya off the glass on the other end. Loya with nine. Yeah, now I'm good. It's just that free throw. This and the back's in on the baseline. Patterson wing three. Got it. Three long the other way. Loya with the rebound. And stolen away by Tyler Holloway. Holloway layup. Good. Wrong track meet now underway. Lead it by 14. Wow. Come on, let's see one here. Holter. That should be an automatic, that should yeah. be an intentional because he never went for the basketball. No. Foul on Drake Weber's his fourth. So he had something to say about it afterwards too. The official had to step in in between. They've got 44 up there for us. We got 42. Yeah, because that didn't even go in. <laughs> They're struggling tonight. I think it should be 42. Hope it hits the free throw. Or actually, no, I got 44 on my board. Do you? Yeah. And I missed something. <laughs> 
I'm just getting too old to keep up with all this. <laughs> Coulter, two for two from the stripe. He's got 11. And a miss on that. Ashton Cohen missed the shot. Good hustle by Munson just to get down there and get in front of him. Oh, man. I'm trying to get all mine right now, too. Oh, my gosh. Forty-six. So I yeah, have got forty-six. I missed one. Well, I have it. I just didn't write it down on my yellow piece of paper here. So free throw rolls off the mark by Cohen. Yeah, I got forty-six too. Okay, so it should be good. Well, my score sheet adds up forty-six. I just missed whoever. Might have been Ritzma, his last basket. Yeah, I think. either his or Munson's because he's got four. Cohen hits the free throw. Two oh five remaining. Bronx turn it over. Andrew Montemayor into the lineup with the basketball. Three from the far corner won't go. In the paint, off the glass, good by Noah Friesen. Man, I'm off a couple fouls too. Okay. I don't have four for the quarter, I got two. Holder on the wing, slows it down, they'll set it up, minute and a half to go in the half. Got MJ for three and uh, Shaky for three? Yeah. Okay, Holder, Munson, three left side, you got Great it. Shot. Back to a 16 point Bronc lead. In the paint, Cohen with the basket. Oh, perfect. Patterson top the key, three, money. Drew Patterson now in doubles with 11. And say if you're going to double on Austin, that's fine. Leaves us a shooter open. Well, that's the thing. Somebody's got to be open because they are doubling down. Ross Ryder, Maddox Beltran back in the lineup. I don't know. I think I'd leave Drew in. He's got he's got two threes, 11 points. I'd keep the hot hand in there. Up the floor, Loya chasing it down. Freezing. That's off the mark. Wow. Ritzman with the rebound. Ritzma, Ryder, lay, oh, almost uh, got the follow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, it was almost a goaltend, I think, too. That ball almost didn't have enough out. The foul's going to go against Ross Ryder, his first. Oh my goodness. You know, now, nothing against Ross. Now, if that was Give shaky with one. that, no, oh, if that yeah. was shaky, oh, that yeah. was coming off the glass. Yeah. Because I, I think Ritzma probably was yelling. <laughs> probably. <laughs> That's what shaky said he did against Wallace County. He, he, he could hear him from behind. Yeah, once you hear your name, that means throw it. <laughs> yeah. The foul on Ross Riders is first. Well, yeah, it's a line to shoot, too. He's hit his only two free throws tonight, and now he's three for three. He's in double figures with 10. Yeah, I got Drew for a foul, Maddox, Coulter, Ross, Austin, and Eric all for one, so. Yes. Yeah, I've got the same thing. Huh. Maybe I marked some of them wrong. And a free throw too strong. And a sublet rebound, ball on the floor. Three from the left side, that's too strong. Ritzma keeping it away alive, and then Maddox Beltran comes away with it. Coulter with it in the backcourt. 15 seconds to go in the half. Right side off the hands of Maddox, and then go back to Sublette with 9.4 remaining. 
Montemeyer up to Froze. Froze stops in the corner. Three off the back iron, won't go. And that'll do it for our second quarter. What a second quarter by the Lake and Bronx. They lead it going into halftime, 52 to 36. The Bronx with 34 points in that quarter. Oh my goodness. And this is only halfway, Jared. Yep, we got a long way to go. And this tempo keeps going. And Bronx stay on the pace. What a game this could be. They're gonna change the net at halftime. Or is he just fixing it? No, he's got a new one in his hand. Oh, huh. I guess we scorched it, huh? I must have. Got burn marks. <laughs> oh, we're at the half. Jared and I are going to add up all these totals. We'll be back after this. You going to the laundry list or are we going to go separate? Yep, laundry. We'll be back. LakeandSports.com could not bring you Lake and High Sports without the continued support of our great sponsors. Thanks to these great businesses, the KCB Bank of Lake and Garden City, the Agency of Lake and Garden City, your full line insurance agency, Lake and Hay and the Lake and Dairy, Fred Ripsima, Shelter Insurance, Gwen Wechter, East Highway 50, Lake and Fleischbach's Diner, West Highway 50, Lakin, the Golden and Plains Credit Union, Life with a Touch of Gold, the Lake and Recreation Commission, Lake and Drug, 610 O'Loughlin, Lakin, Shorty's Cafe, Main Street, Lakin, the Kearney County Economic Development, Ralph Goodnight, Pioneer Communications of Southwest Kansas, Hendricks Welding, Brad Hendricks, and Debach Metals of Lakin, player of the game metal sponsor again thank you sponsors please let them know you appreciate what they do now back we go with the voice of lake and high sports brett hendricks welcome back to lake and bronx sports youtube lake and sports.com brett hendricks with you worth a half the bronx after a 34 point second quarter Lead the Larks 52 to 36. So let's look at the first half numbers. First four, Sublette. Joel Loya leading the way with 10 points. Noah Friesen following with eight. Well, actually, Ashton Cohen lead following with nine off the bench. Friesen with eight. Noah Froze with six. Corbin Dirking with two. And Drake Weber with one. Free throws for Sublette. Six of 13 in the first half. For the Bronx, three players in double figures here at the break. Austin Ritzman leading the way with 12. Colter Oldham and Drew Patterson with 11 apiece. Adrian Gomez Esquivel with seven. MJ Gonzalez with two. Tyler Holloway with two. And Eric Munson with seven. In the Bronx, a good first half shooting free throws, 11 of 13. Came into the night shooting just 51% from the free throw line. So the Bronx, a good job in the first half. I need to steal that folder from you. Oh, and you've got it there too. So uh, now we're joined by Bronx head, Lady Bronx head coach, J.C. Holloway. If you weren't with us with the, in the first game, Lady Bronx, a strong showing all over the Lady Larks here tonight by the score of 73 to 11. Thus winning their third game in a row. Now we're joined by Lady Bronx head coach J.C. Holloway. And coach, um, of course, we said it all weekend, two wins to end the weekend, a complete turnaround from the first two games of the year. But now all of a sudden, the Lady Bronx riding a three-game winning streak. And uh, the third game of this streak, but I'm seeing some changes and some different uh, mindsets on the floor. So, uh these girls, um, I think for one, they're understanding that how capable they really are. Yeah, I think it took a little bit for us to figure that out. Um, <clears throat> definitely the first two games were, were tough games, and it, and it probably would have, uh, you know, at least been somewhat of a different outcome, I think, um, if we wouldn't have played them first. If we would have had these, these three games, 
that we just got finished with first uh, get us to get a little bit better feel. Kind of what I told you, like I think we're still, even though we've had some of these girls play together, it's still it's still a new team and we're still trying to figure each other out and, and we're doing uh, some different things and we mixed up the lineups tonight and uh, really liked uh, the attitude and the uh, just the effort as far as trying to make uh, something new work and and we actually uh, we we put in a new uh, press uh, in in uh, pregame talk. So pregame talk. Well, we didn't have practice yesterday. It was yeah. a long weekend, and we we really wanted to watch some film and and critique ourselves and try to figure out uh, how to fix some stuff. So we watched about two hours of film yesterday. It was really good for him, and and I think, uh, uh, like you said, we're tr we're we're starting to learn learn about each other a little bit. And that was something I noticed in the first half too. Is actually more conversations between the girls, and from this far, it looked constructive. It yeah. wasn't. They weren't hanging their heads, and of course, I mean, you win by sixty, you should not hang your head anyway. But it just was more. Uh, talking about maybe they missed one, okay, or what they just did, what can we do? It just looks to me like this team is starting to mesh together. It's going to be almost a shame we're going to stop for Christmas. But <laughs> yeah. uh, but this team, I, I just like what I see so far. Um, Jarrah and Reagan leading the way with 16 points. When Jarrah took off with 13 in the first half, I think that 30-point output Saturday in Goodland was nothing but good for her confidence. Yeah, definitely, and I think it helped the rest of us, uh, you know, understand what what she can do and what uh, each of them can do. And and uh, Reg stepped up and did some really good yes. things. And and here's the thing, though, that we we got to understand, and hopefully our girls, when we critique this game, is, you know, Reagan Reagan got the 16 points, but she did. She did what we've been asking her to do as a floor general, as a point guard, to run the team. And when when she did those things well, then it opened up a chance for her to score. And it opened up a chance for other people to get the ball and score. It just, um, just you know, we're still working on roles and, and being the best in our role. And, and uh, it's definitely something we talked about. But just the communication, I do want to comment on that because I do feel like we still had some mistakes in that first quarter. You look at the score and you don't think so, but we, you know, we might be a little off, but we had us for about uh, eight or nine turnovers, and we're up 24 to two at the time. Yeah, uh, that's still a lot of mistakes. Well, how do we fix those? Let's let's not get depressed and down and, and mad at ourselves for making a mistake. No, nobody plays perfect. Mm -hmm. it, look, the whole point of what we've spent all the time watching film, the meetings that we had in Goodland, um, you know, before the Ulysses and, and McCook game was it, get the next one. Play the next play. It, it, you're not going to be perfect. You're going to make a mistake. Um, we're not mad at the mistakes. We're, mis we're, we're mad at the behavior after the mistakes. Don't make one turn into four uh, quick mistakes. Oh, so. exactly. Uh, Jordan McCombs also in double figures tonight. So three ladies in double figures. Sammy just missing double figures with eight. Um, Aaron Michalis with eight points tonight. But uh, showing some range, hitting two three-pointers, and uh, kind of surprising. You know, you have a freshman girl that's six foot one, uh, she's not afraid to fire up from 20. Well, I'm glad you said six one, because I think I'm about six one and a half, so I, I'm still a little, a little okay. bit taller than her. Okay. Uh, yeah, she, she did a good job. Year, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. Uh, I, I, I thought we shot it well. Um, you know, one of the things we talked about in, in a game like this is, you, we got to continue working on our stuff and and try to uh, you know fix issues we have or fine tune uh, sets plays uh, offense defense just just everything you know defensively I, I felt even when we got in the half court uh, there was stuff that we needed to work on and and that you know getting ball line being in help uh, stopping penetration just stuff like that that we still have like that, that's okay it's okay to say hey let's get better. Yeah, we, we should know that we sh we hear that a lot, you know. Just yeah. uh, it's okay, it's okay if a mistake happens. Just get better, get the next one. They see it every day when they walk the halls. That's what I'm saying. Exactly, you betcha. 
uh, this coming Friday. Lady Bronx back on the road again at Stanton County, and uh, will be an interesting matchup because uh, Stanton County is another one of those that have some, uh, they've got some size, um, and uh, it'll be an interesting matchup with the size that Lakin has, but uh, riding a three-game winner, might as well make it four this coming Friday, right? Uh, might, might as well. Might as well. <laughs> yeah. well. We'll take the next two days and prepare, so yeah. it, it could be. I mean, it's going to be a tough one. Yeah, I, I really think it will be, and Lakin handled them twice last year, but uh, they're a team that I, I just look at the height and the, the players that they have thinking they, they ought, to, ought to be better. And uh, I, I don't look for a 60-point a, a win on Friday, although we'll take it. But uh, <laughs> yeah. it ought to be a good one there at, in Johnson on Friday. We'll take a one-point win. Yeah, exactly. We'll As always, thanks for taking the time to come up and talk to me. We will talk to you on Friday in Johnson. All right. Thanks, Brett. You betcha. Lady Bronx head coach J.C. Holloway. Once again, the Lady Bronx with a 73-11 to 11 win over Sublette here this evening. And we start our second half. Bronx with the basketball. M.J. Gonzalez off the mark. Gets the rebound, won't go now. The third try, it's up and in. Third time's a charm. M.J. Gonzalez battling some foul trouble in the first half. Scores to start off our second half. And the Bronx with their biggest lead at 18 at 54-36. Jared back in with us. Long inbounds pass to Corbin Deerking. And that's, oh, that, now that was a backcourt. I wondered about yeah. that one earlier that was close, but that one really was. Weber in the corner. Oh, almost stolen by Patterson. But in the paint, Deerking, the fade away, won't go. Maddox with the rebound, outlet to Shakey. Up the floor, MJ wide open, layup, got it. They're going to count it, but it, yeah. he made it anyway. MJ running the floor. And now the Bronx up by 20. <clears throat> and when they called a foul, I didn't realize the foul was called. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. No, yeah, okay. I was going to say no. I was going to say I didn't think so either. <laughs> And they didn't put the points up again. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought it was 56. Four points have been scored, so. Two buckets by MJ. Man, I don't think we've ever had this much trouble. So how hard is it to uh, mark two in a scorebook? There we go. Eventually. Need to hook into you, Jared. Yeah, I got it. Noah froze. <laughs> oh. And it will go as a lake and foul. That'll go against Drew Patterson, his second. No, 24. Ooh, Coulter. Huh. I didn't even know Coulter was over there. I didn't think he was either. Oh, that was backcourt there, too. He caught it in the front court, but stepped in the back. Yeah, I don't know how that was on Coulter, but. Ball is loose on the floor. In the basket, good. Through all of that, Noah Friesen lays it up and in. MJ working hard at the post. Patterson from six, he hits it. MJ with the assist. Drew Patterson with 13, near steal, and it is. Oh, MJ really trying to just make something happen there because he was trapped in the oh, corner. Oh, yeah, Coulter was in on that. Was I he? think I just saw someone else. Layup good by Friesen. Bronx were wise that time just to let him go. And the sublet steal. Maddox on the floor with it. Oh, oh my God. Still on the floor. It's a three on three. Bounce pass. Near side froze. Looking to drive. Good defense by Shakey. Shot short Over by the Friesen. Back. And we've got a tie up on the rebound. Shakey and Joel Loya. Arrow points to sublet. No 
Lakin substitutions, Ross Ryder, Eric Munson, Tyler Holloway, and Austin Ritzma. Coulter, the lone starter on the floor. Loya with the inbounds. Finds Dierke. Weber, the floater off the glass, good. Weber on the floor with four first half fouls, lays it up and in. Holloway, dish to Ritzma, steps in. Oh, oh off the side of the backboard. Oh, Tyler in there to knock it away, but it's going to be last touched by Tyler and back to Sublette. Weber with it. Near side to Friesen. Ooh. Three out front, bouncing around. Mongo. Ryder blocked the putback and came away with the loose ball up the floor. Holloway from the wing. Out front to Ritzma. Now Eric Munson. Coulter got the defender in the... <laughs> oh, man. Short on the three. <laughs> Weber with the rebound. Would have been sweet if it went. Oh, I know. Ritzma blocked the shot without even leaving the floor, and the Bronx have it going the other way. Ritzma running the floor. He wanted the basketball. Munson spins, won't go. Munson with the offensive board. Off the glass. Oh, it won't go. Ball still tipped away. Holloway tried it. <laughs> And Holloway Damn. comes away with the rebound. That was a kick. Kick, yeah. Weber comes away with it. Yeah, Holloway, oh. There we go. Drake Weber just fouled out of the basketball game. And there is no denying that one. Oh no, that one, that one was pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, that one was pretty easy. So Drake so when Weber. You see a full extended arm, I mean, can't get more obvious. Fouling out with 4.30 remaining in the third, and Ashton Cohen will check in. Let's see. Also checking in, I think Noah froze into the lineup as well. Lakin basketball. Holder with it in the backcourt, steps across. Over to Munson on the left wing. I'll tell you what, Ashton Cohen, Ritzma backs in, missed, got the putback, lays it up and in. That's quite a battle. Height-wise, they're about the same. Yeah. Good defense by Munson. Great defense. The crowd's going crazy, but he tripped on his own feet. Yeah. Holloway so out front. Kind of fell to the ground and trying to draw a foul. In a timeout, Lakin calls a timeout. Getting excited, I think Nate just wants to calm everything down. Yeah. 3.56 to go in our third quarter. The Bronx lead at 60 to 42. anything to say during this timeout, <laughs> man. Nope. <laughs> I will say we're back on the road yet again Friday <laughs> as we go to Johnson. This Bronx and Lady Bronx battle the Trojans. And then we're going to take a break for Christmas. Lakin basketball, 356 to play in the third. Over to Patterson, right wing. MJ back into the lineup. It's counting. MJ doubled out front. Oh, oh, there it is. Could not see Austin. Patterson, Short. his three, I think, was tipped. Yeah. MJ knocks it away. MJ from the left side. Off the glass, won't go. Ritzma, he'll put it up and in. And Coulter with the steal. In the bucket, too. Hold it with the bucket. Yep. 
Bronx on top by 22, their biggest of the game. Cohen, the drive. There we go. The oh! Whoa! Whoa! Point on that. Man, pulled the old switcheroo. Great charge. I don't know how much longer and more sets you want him to stay. So Corbin Dierking at the line to shoot two. Ball the line. line. <laughs> Ross Ryder into the lineup. Coulter was having a conversation with the official and pointing to his arm that maybe he got scratched or something. But then I just saw Noah Pro step across and they five, my bad. Yeah. So I don't know what happened there, but uh, free throw does fall for Dierking. In the paint, Ritzma short, and the rebound comes off to Noah Froze. Up the floor, Trenton Davis, reverse layup, wild shot. Dierking underneath, can't handle it. Battling out front, Ritzma knocks it away, Lakin basketball. Coulter with it. Patterson stops in the paint, it won't go. Froze with the rebound. Patterson reached in, tied up, but Sablet owns the arrow. Man, another great charge. It was. Sablet inbound. Trenton Davis stops off the glass, won't go. Coulter with it, out in front. Ritzma, two-step layup. <laughs> Only Austin can two-step from the free throw line. Yeah. <laughs> Sublette quick up the other end. Dierking with the wraparound won't go. Dierking with the putback. It's short. And a tie-up. And it points Lakin. Man, after that new net, they haven't been able to find anything. Substitutions for the Bronx. Oh, uh, what do you got to say? Oh, there we go. All the way, <laughs> Maddox and Shaky into the Bronx lineup. Oh, we got to throw it in. Lake in basketball. Yeah, it was okay. Saw. Shaky was wanting somebody to throw it into him. Bronx with their biggest lead at 23. Sublette still in a man to man up the floor. Holloway has it on the wing. Two minutes to go in the quarter. Yes, man. Thought about the three. <laughs> he wants it so bad. You know what, though? He can hit it. Yep. Oh, and a steal near side. Trenton Davis. Great hustle by Holloway. Let Holloway slip by and hit it. Still a 21 point Bronc lead. Lob into Ritzma. Ritzma up. Missed. Got the rebound and put it back up and in. I don't know how that wasn't a foul. I don't know either. But Ritzma staying with it. And quick up the other end, Corbin Dierking with the basket. And their student section sure still stays in a the game. They do, yeah. No doubt about it, I mean. That foul, that'll go against Joel Loya, and that's his third. So down yeah. 21, but and they act like it's a two-point game, man. They're yeah, loud. They're in it, you bet. And you know what, that's good. That's good, that's yeah. That's good. Said having everyone just bail out. Yeah, everybody sit there and you hear crickets. Yeah. <clears throat> All the way with the inbounds, right back to Coulter. 1.15 to go in the third quarter. Maddox flashes out on the left wing, up top to Coulter. Coulter on the drive. Spin move. Missed it, Risma. Missed it. <laughs> Doesn't matter, he's just padding the stats. You know, I think he's padding the offensive rebounds. <laughs> I'd say he's definitely got a double-double. Risma scored the last six for the Bronx. Backside, Risma almost with the steal, and it's going to be Lakin basketball. Yeah. 
Austin Ritzma, I have him for 22 points. Same here. Corbin Dierking into the lineup for Sublette along with Noah Friesen. 43.3 seconds to play in the quarter. Bronx with the basketball, leading by 23, their biggest of the game. Left side, Maddox. Ritzma. Missed the shot. Up the floor, Trenton Davis with the layup. Long to a hold for one, 20 seconds to go. Knocked away by Andrew Montemeyer. Now Noah Gerritsen into the lineup. 15.8 seconds to go. Shaky in the backcourt, 15 seconds to go. Bronx will hold for one. High post oh. going away from Holloway. Oh! <laughs> Give him the foul. Wow. Give him the foul. That was a volleyball spike and a half. That was a great block. It had to be a body foul because that right hand was all over a ball swatting it off the backboard. Yeah. Second foul on Tyler Holloway. Noah froze at the line to shoot two. Well, I found my miss foul from earlier. Okay. Is it that one? Yep. <laughs> Five point one seconds to go in the quarter. Free throw too strong. Ball is loose. Ooh, Colder got hit inside of the face. And that'll do it. Bronx with the lead at the end of three. They lead at 70 to 50. We're going to take a timeout. I owe a few here on this side. We're back after this. Don't go away. Kearney County, a wonderful life opportunity, offers a wide range of opportunities to residents and visitors. Hunting, fishing, camping, golfing, and bowling provide recreation, plus the Lake and Rec Commission provides youth and adult programs in Lake and Deerfield. Explore the rich history of the county by visiting the Kearney County Historical Museum or the historic sites throughout the county. Take advantage of what Kearney County has to offer. Contact Ralph Goodnight, Kearney County Economic Development, or on the web at www.kearneycountykansas.com. Flash back to the days of Bebop and Bobby Socks at Flashbacks Diner, Highway 50, Lakin. Fantastic burgers, Cody and Chicago hot dogs, Philly steak, BLT, and chicken sandwiches, along with ice cream treats like the traditional banana split, sundaes, shakes, malts, and cones. Dine in or carry out. Flashback to the days of Bebop and Bobby Socks at the one and only Fantastic Flashbacks Diner, Highway 50, Lakin. We start the fourth and final quarter. Will be Sublette basketball, the Bronx leading it 70 to 50. Kind of nice, both teams tonight hitting the 70 mark. Yeah. Lady Bronx earlier with a 73 to 11 win over Sublette. Loya, the drive blocked by Lock. MJ. Maddox with the loose ball outlet to Shakey. Patterson up the floor, thought about the three drives. Gives it up to Coulter. Coulter backing in, leans in off the glass, got it. Coulter with 15. Patterson with the steal, Coulter up the floor. Uh, laid it up, he wanted to try to dunk and it, I think he lost his hand uh, on as he went up. Oh, good Ooh. strip. Great strip by Drew. Good job, Drew. Man, I look like a good strip as well. Second foul on Drew. Foul on the floor. Long out front to Loya. He'll hand it off to Dierke. Wow, where's the arm there? Yeah. Shaky with the rebound. Oh, it's got a hand on the outlet. Now it's Sublette with numbers, a five on two. 
And Lawyer with the layup. MJ running the floor off the glass. Got it. That'll quiet him down a little. Yep. <laughs> MJ with eight. Man, these boys are going to be tired after this uh, little layup clinic. Garrison turns over shaky. So Blitz gassed. <laughs> They're not even getting back. Is that colder? Yeah. Back to a 22-point lead. Colder now with 17. Garrettson. Oh. Wow. Oh, I thought there was a whistle. That was a shoe. Uh -uh, it was a shoe. Jeez. That's a foul <laughs> on that one, too. Shaky. The drive. Layup too strong. Matt, uh, MJ, excuse me, out to Maddox. He'll fire from three. Hit it. It's short. Corbin Dirking with it. Noah Gerritsen looking to drive. Good poke. I thought that he might have touched it, but I couldn't see the computer. I think he did. Away. Cohen back in the, excuse me, Noah Friesen into the lineup for Sublette. Cohen also in as well. Austin Ritzma in, Ross Ryder in, Eric Munson in as well, along with Tyler Holloway. Derrickin drives. Three seconds. Oh, blocked by Ritzma. Ball is loose. Arrow points to Lakin. Wait, whoa. There we go. About to say. All the way with the inbound. Shaky comes and gets it. On the left wing, Eric Munson, Ross Ryder. Ritzma once again getting double teamed. Holloway out front, three, oh. too strong. Shaky with the offensive board. No look. Ritzma, he's fouled. Ritzman will go to the line to shoot two. That foul on Ashton Cohen, his first. <laughs> oh, oh, air ball. That is way short. That's right. It's a good thing he's got 22. You know, he's a little tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little tired. That one off the mark. <laughs> and that foul will go against Ross Ryder. I haven't had one of those calls all game, and now we have one. Noah Friesen to inbound for the Larks. 5.18 to play. Trenton Davis up the far side. <laughs> Loose ball left side three and a foul by Holloway. <laughs> foul will go on Tyler Holloway. And Noah Froze will go to the line to shoot three. Three throws short. 509 remaining. Vincent Bocanegra into the lineup for the Bronx. Rose with the third free throw. And that's off as well. Ross Ryder with the rebound. <clears throat> Five minutes to play. Vinny with it. 
into Ritzma. Ritzma turns, got a one. foul. Okay, we got to put the point up. <laughs> yeah. With the basket. Corbin Durking with the foul, his second. They didn't miss the free throw, but it should be 78. Ritzman with the loose ball out front. Hey, mine's right, so. Nate with the timeout, and he's full timeout. Oh. Nate's trying not to say something, I think. But those points did not go up. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, how hard is it to sit there and write numbers in a book? We're talking and doing other things, and we're keeping it straight. I'm you know, talking, keeping a scoreboard and a book all at the same time. And running ads. Go to one. We'll yep. be back, Jared. They said this place was too isolated to call home. They said it was too remote to build a community. And then one day, a farmer strung a copper wire from one fence post to another and changed everything. We didn't build the communities of Southwest Kansas. No, we just brought them together. And once again, we go to the scores table. Just making the game take way longer than needed. There, there we, we go. go. Like I said, I mean, I mean, I've worked table before, but you're doing one thing. You're watching the game and putting numbers in a book. That's what the fourth time tonight they've had to go to the scores table. Yeah. And it's always whenever there's a foul, they for yeah. some reason just think that the points don't count. Great Ritzma move. in the paint. Ball is loose. Oh. Vinny on the floor, but he's going to get called for the foul. Jeez. Okay, who would have dunked it there? Austin was out in front. Ross Ryder can do it too. I don't say, I think Ross <laughs> might have gotten his shot. Vinny with the foul, his first. Yeah, I bet he would have gave up one of them. Sublette basketball. And a steal by Munson, 26 point Bronk lead. Man, I think you could lob it up to Austin every time down the floor because he just gets out and runs. Vinny, long three is short. Trenton Davis saves it in. Back to Ross Ryder trailing the play. <laughs> Knocks it away. Alex Davis into the lineup. Austin Ritzma out of the lineup with 26 points. Davis <laughs> got a hand on it twice. Turning in the paint, off the glass won't go. Shot missed, Shaky with the rebound. Body? Shaky, oh, off the <laughs> glass, almost got it. Noah Friesen with it. But you know, he was banged all the way down. <laughs> Loose ball, Trenton Davis, short. Ross Ryder with the rebound. Out to Davis, Davis. Shovels it off to Munson, Munson drive. Vinny from the left point. Oh my Where's goodness. <laughs> he just got grabbed around the waist. Boy, no kidding. I mean, that that last probably 45 seconds, there could have been three least, or four yeah. fouls called all the way down the floor. Three ten to play. Bronx well on their way to their fourth win of the season. Out to Shaky. Three minutes. Shaky to drive. <laughs> they call that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Fourth <laughs> foul on Shakey. Let's just get this over with. Lucas McCombs into the lineup. Quincy Escabel into the lineup for the Bronx. Long pass up the floor against the wall and it'll go back to the Bronx. See, did I miss a substitution? I think I've caught up with them all. 2.54 remaining. All right, you're good. Bronx Quincy on. and Lucas. Yep. And Quincy to inbound for the Bronx. Sublet still with full core pressure. Davis up the floor. Vinny runs it down. God. And a foul from behind. <laughs> I thought he was going to start Monroe. rolling on that one. Just the third foul on Sublet. And let's. Alex Luna into the lineup. Is that Noah? And Noah, what's, what's his number? 55? No, that's Luna. Oh, okay, then wrong guy. Yeah. Can't see, we're all the way up in the nest. <laughs> Alex Davis with it to Vinny on the wing. Lucas, three out front, off the mark, won't go. Quincy running down the rebound. I'll tell you what, it's sad to say the officials are wanting this thing to be over and they're not calling anything. Yeah. Their body's going everywhere. It's getting a little out of control. You know what? Keep it safe. I, I have a problem with, I just want to get it over with. You know what? You get somebody hurt, it, it's not worth getting it over with. Vinny in the backcourt. Now Alex Davis oh. in the paint, foul, or a traveling violation. Bronx turn it over with 159 remaining. Noah froze from the left side. Off the front of the rim, short, loose ball, picked up by Lucas McCombs. They give it up to Quincy. Oh. Hand it off to Luna. Luna stopped. McCombs Thanks. saves it in. Quincy, the three, uh. off the front iron, won't go. Loose oh, ball, Alex it. Davis with it. And a foul called, that'll go against Andrew Monemeyer. Fourth sublet foul, 1.30 to play. I was gonna say, oh, that was on Noah Froze, not Monomire. And Carlos Ariza into the lineup now for the Bronx. I was gonna say, Vinny looked like he's been hurting a lot of this game, so. Ariza, the three off the front iron won't go. I was wondering when they're gonna take him out. Noah Froze with the rebound. Brings it up the near side. Quincy knocked it away into the corner to Loya. Garretson with the inlet, lays it off the glass. One minute. And hopefully keep it rolling. Still, Joel Loya with the layup. <laughs> Quincy up the floor. Ariza with the drive. They kick it back out front. 35 seconds to go. McCombs for three, off the glass won't go. Alex Davis trying to keep it alive for the Bronx. Now Alex Loya with it across the timeline. Near side, Noah froze. Give to Garrison, miss the shot. Alex Davis with the rebound. He'll bring it up himself. Steps in, oh, 
can't get it to go. Ball is loose. Davis stepped on the sideline and he'll go back to Sublette. 10.7 seconds to go. Larks are going to fall to one and four as the Bronx improved two, four, and one. Throws, drives, oh. left side. <laughs> A little hop travel there. Uh, yeah, that was perfect indication we want to go home. Yeah. And with that, we are going to get to the Bronx with an 80 to 60 win over the Sublette Larks here tonight. They improved their record to four and one, and they are one and oh in the High Plains League. Are we tapped out with ads? I am. Okay. I think we've got a couple of the audio ones here. We'll play it and we'll add up some totals. We'll be back with them. You've been watching Bronx Basketball. Thanks for joining us. We're back right after this. The Lake and Recreation Commission has a full fitness room with five treadmills, tread climber, rolling machine, three elliptical fitness cross trainers, two stationary bikes, and strength training fitness equipment. You'll find just what you need for your own quality workout. The fitness room is open for the public's use free of charge during business hours. For use after business hours, Lake and Rec also has a keyless entry system available. The Lake and Rec Commission, always involved with the youth of Lake and 702 North Campbell, Lake and 355-7039. The benefits are endless. Some commercials make it really tempting to buy cheap insurance. That's great if price is the only thing that's important to you. The agency believes cost is important, but protection is what you're really paying for. Rely on the agency to build the policy that protects your property at a price you can afford. Call the agency today at 620-355-6789. Another big thank you for all the sponsors here on Lake and Bronx Sports. YouTube, lakeandsports.com. Without them, we wouldn't have been able to be doing this for our 17th year of bringing you Lake and High School basketball. Look at the numbers. For Sublette, who fall one and four on the season, Joel Loya led the way with 14 points, Noah Friesen with 12, Noah Froze with nine. Ashton Cohen with nine off the bench. Corbin Dirking with five. Trenton Davis with four. Drake Weber with three. And Noah Garrison with four. From the free throw line, Sublette six of 13 in the first half, two of seven in the second. And finishing eight of 20 on the game. How, how many free throws for us? Oh, I have Sublette. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I was about to say that number didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, big fella. <laughs> and for the Lakin numbers, Jared, why don't you go ahead and give us some numbers? Uh, I don't got them. You don't have them? I don't got them all yet. Okay, I will. Austin Ritzma, what a night tonight. A career high, 26 points to lead the way for the Bronx. Three Bronx in double figures. Colder Oldham with 17 points. Drew Patterson with 13. MJ Gonzalez with eight. Adric with seven. Nice job, bub. And Eric Munson with seven. Tyler Holloway finished with a deuce. From the free throw line, Lakin in the first half, 11 of 13, 0 for 3 in the second half, but a very respectable 11 for 16, something that the Bronx, that's one thing that they have struggled with has been free throws so far this year, Jared. Yeah, it's nice to see that number way up. <laughs> and the thing is, the three shots in the, uh, the second half was, all Austin. Austin, yeah, Austin. <laughs> so Austin went 0 for 3 the second half. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give him props on that one, though. He was, his arm was a little tired. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> From shooting, swatting balls, getting rebounds, you name it. And uh, Austin was very busy tonight. But uh, a great night all the way around for the Bronx. But I'll tell you what really helped the Bronx. They led 18 to 17 after one period of play. But in the second quarter, the Bronx erupted for 34 points. And uh, that's pretty much what paved the way for the Bronx and the victory tonight. And we're down joined by Bronx head coach Nate Schmidt. And uh, we would mentioned one thing over the weekend in Goodland that it seems like the Bronx liked the second quarter. And tonight was no different. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen a 34-point quarter. But... Uh, 
really huge when the, you know Sublette wanted the pressure. Bronx, I hate to be a homer, but they say bring it on, we'll run with you, and uh, they did. Yeah, we. Uh, I don't know what it is about the second quarters, uh, but yeah, they've been they've been good. We actually talked about that. Um, you know, we talked about that uh, in film yesterday, um, how good our second quarters have been. Um, you know, but very proud of the guys. I thought, you know, I was really proud of the way we came out in the third quarter, you know, and went on a little bit of run. But, you know, there's obviously some areas we got to get better. you got to credit, you know, Sublette. They were fast-paced and running around. And, uh, you know, we got beat deep sometime, gave away too many layups, fouled too much. But, you know, is what it is. Um, you know, we also scored 80 points, you know, and uh, got to play everybody. And so, yeah, really good second quarter. Proud of the guys. Tough road win, uh, league win. So, Excited to get that one over with and got a big one on Friday. And the thing about it is coming into this, and we had talked earlier that Sublette was, they're, they're quick. They're always quick down here. They're going to play uh, 94 feet for 32 minutes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, they did that tonight. But uh, I'll tell you what, um, we say this team came away from Goodland better, but they showed how much better they were tonight. Uh, Austin Ritzma, a career-high 26. And, uh, Jared and I were joking. He was 0 for 3 in the uh, second half from the free throw line. He only misses for the Bronx in the second half. But I said, hey, his arm was tired. Yeah. Shooting, uh, <laughs> swatting balls, getting rebounds, chasing loose balls on the floor. But uh, what an all-around good game by Austin tonight. Yeah, he had a great night. Um, like I said, you know, with the exception of one game, he's been really, really good for us. Um, you know, and he's still learning how to play, you know. Um, but rebounding, alters shots, he gets out and runs. Adric does a great job of passing it ahead. Um, you know, but he's been he's been huge for us. Had a huge second half. Um, uh, you know, all around pretty good. Uh, exciting to uh, exciting to see him uh, play well uh, for us because we definitely needed it tonight. Three Bronx in double figures. Coulter with 17. Uh, Drew Patterson with 13. And I'll tell you what, Drew still seems to come up with that that three he had two of them tonight but uh i don't know to me it seems like he changed his shot because it's a lot more arch which when you have a lot more arch you've got more of the cylinder to work with but uh drew coming up with a couple clutch threes yeah it was nice we went on a little run there i think in the second you know we had two three looks like four threes that we hit uh drew got us rolling with a couple um, you know, and then <coughs> Eric hit one or, or, or whatnot in, in the second quarter. So, you know, when you can have the inside presence that we have and apply the pressure that we do and then make some shots on top of it, yeah. you know, it, it, it makes you pretty good. But, uh, you know, we talked a lot about, you know, I think we're shooting, you know, 24, 25% from three coming into the game. We are not shooting it well. Um, but we talked about part of that is we're not taking good threes, you know, and the shots that were falling for us were inside out threes off offensive rebounds and kickouts. And those are the threes we want to take, you know, not the threes, just one pass to the wing and shoot it, you know. And so Drew took some really good shots tonight, and I think that's why, why they fell. But if we could get some of those guys hitting some shots, we got a chance to be, to be pretty salty. So, um, you know, you talk about Drew changing a shot. I don't know. Uh, that's on him. I don't change a lot of shots. I just tell him to practice the shot. Stance, elbow, follow through, take good shots, and, you know, shoot them with confidence, you know. And if they do that, you know, um, I'm not going to tell you that, you know, our best shooters in the past have had pretty shots. They really haven't, you know, but they go in, so I'm not, yeah. you know, I'm not messing with them. Um, but, yeah, Drew shot it well. Um, <clears throat> very proud of him and, and his performance tonight. And like I said, I don't know if he did, but he's just shooting a, a lot more arch. And mm -hmm. like I said, there's more cylinder to work with yeah. when you come up high. But uh, um, MJ, eight points, yeah. came out strong in the second mm -hmm. half, had two points in the first half, but uh, battled some foul trouble. Uh, nice to <coughs> see him come out. You, you talked about the team came out strong to start the third. Mm -hmm. That was part of MJ. Yeah, and, and we went to him. We said the first two possessions, you know, we scripted what we were going to do. And, that's where we wanted the ball to go. We wanted to go to him. We're trying to get him going. If you saw, that's how we started the game. We tried to run something to him. And, you know, we're doing everything we can to try to get MJ going, you know. But, unfortunately, it's just, you know, he ends up in foul trouble. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to be pretty dangerous when we can keep him on the floor. You know, but, you know, that's the, the nice thing about this team is, you know, on a lot of teams, if your big man gets in foul trouble or your point guard's in foul trouble, you're in a world of hurt. And, I'm, you know, I don't really think we skip much of a beat, you know, when that no. happens because of the depth that we have. But, uh, you know, uh, you know, boy, when MJ, he's out there, he can really get going for us. And another strong night uh, off the bench for Eric Munson with seven points. But uh, he does so many little things that uh, don't show up in that box score. He's, he's battling for loose balls. He's 
Ding up. There were a couple times Sublette got behind the defense and broke away, and Eric was there sprinting 94 feet, getting to the other end. Yeah, and, you know, I don't think Eric had a good first quarter. He'd be the first to tell you that, but that's the maturity in him and how he's gotten better. Is a lot of times, you know, in the past, Eric would have never ever over, uh, would have overcome that, and he did tonight. I told him, hey, next play, you know, next next wave, you're going to be good to go. <laughs> good to go, and he played really well in the second quarter, and, you know, overall, I thought he did a pretty pretty decent job of handling the ball. That's no easy task, especially against, you know, pressure like this to handle the basketball. And, yep. um, you know, he's doing a fine job for us. I'm very, very proud of him. Well, of course, uh, the Bronx bouncing back from their open, their their first loss of the season. And uh, um, <coughs> they always say you're as successful as your next game. So the Bronx, a tough loss Saturday, come right back on in a hostile place to play, you know. They got a student section, and the way this place is built, they're right on top of you and uh, handled themselves well. Now going Friday to Stanton County, a team that uh, uh, came out of Syracuse on Saturday, a winning record, and uh, um, they've been another one of those teams that at times gives the Bronx fits. Uh, they have a really, really, they have a really good team. Uh, they got a couple of really good seniors that have played a lot of years of varsity. They have a really good sophomore class. Uh, they're rolling right now. They're playing confident. They're scoring a lot of points. They, you know, got three guys that average in double figures, and uh, you know, it, it's going to be very similar. Um, I'd say they're a little more skilled, maybe not quite as fast-paced, but they're going to get up and down. They're going to guard you, you know, and uh, it, it's going to take everything we got. You know, again on the road, last game before Christmas break, and you know, another league game. You know, sure would be be nice to be two and zero in league and five and one going into Christmas break with your only loss to the number six team in the state. You know, yep. but, uh, you know, we're going to have to put in the work. Um, I know Coach Lovelady, he's already got the prep ready. You know, they stay a couple games ahead, and um, we'll get it. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll prep a little bit for us tomorrow and then all about staying county Thursday and hopefully be ready to roll on Friday. Well, Coach, as always, thanks for taking the time. Congratulations on a big win tonight. Thank you. Right. I appreciate always, it. Always a pleasure. Yes, thank and, you. And, um, you know, what a night for Lakin basketball. Lady Bronx putting up 70. So uh, <laughs> yeah. a good night all the way around. Ought to be a good day at school. No trouble for the kids in the principal. Can just yeah, I like Have that. an easy day, I, right? I like that. Don't, uh, don't jinx us. No <laughs> easy day for the principal. I don't know now. Uh, yeah, I no, probably did. I probably yeah. jinxed it. I no, jinxed everything. It's all right. I'll call you. When, uh, when it happens tomorrow. So, you know, <laughs> All right. Well, Coach, yeah. once again, congratulations. Enjoy the week, and we will be talking to you Friday. Yeah, thanks for all you do, Brett. Oh, you bet. All right. That's Bronx head coach Nate Schmidt. Once again, the Bronx win it by the score of 80-60, to 60, improved their record to 4-1. and one. And our earlier game tonight, the Lady Bronx improved to 3-2 and two with their third straight win with a 73-11 to 11 win over the Lady Larks of Sublette. So that's going to wrap it up from here in Larks country. I want to thank all the great sponsors to make what uh, make Lake and Bronx Sports YouTube possible. A, a couple shout outs to some ads we will get we will get played. Um, Matthew Medill, CPA, and um, uh, of course Shorty's Cafe, Eric Esquivel, they're on Main Street in Lakin as well. And um, for all the sponsors, we couldn't do it without them. So those of you still watching us, uh, thank those sponsors for all they do because without them, we wouldn't be able to do this on our own. And uh, we appreciate and can't ever thank them enough. Uh, Sandy here taking pictures. Those will be on Facebook for everybody in, to enjoy. Uh, J.D. Ham with all of our tech support and running some ads and doing some things. He's been under the weather. Hope he's feeling better. And uh, thank him for all he does as well. So for Jared, great job again as usual. And uh, what do you say we wrap it up, we head home. Let's go. All right. We'll be back on the air Friday in Johnson as the Bronx and Lady Bronx travel to Stanton County to finish out the pre-Christmas portion of the schedule. Until then, have a great rest of the week. God bless. We'll talk to you then. <laughs>